What's up everybody, Eojiki here. Welcome to Game Jumping, the show where indecisiveness is okay. Today, we have decided to play a game called Gris. That's G-R-I-S. Now, Gris is a game that I saw a while ago. I think it came out like a couple months ago from, from the time of recording this. And I honestly had no idea what it was about, but visually it was one of those games that just looked incredible. It looked like an experience game, which are games I really enjoy playing. Uh, a while back, I think last year, I played a game called Abzu, um, which is either made by or highly based on Journey, which is also one of those experience type games. It's more about like the combination of the music and the art and everything into like an art form, almost like an art piece. Um, this looked like one of those games. I think from what I've read, it's drawn inspiration on those type of games. Um, but I really know nothing going into this game. So um, we're gonna take a look and see and maybe I'll be doing a lot of talking. Maybe I won't, we'll see. We're, we're, I wanna experience this together because I really don't know what to experience. So let's hit new game and let's go into it and see exactly what we're dealing with here in Gris. Yeah, right off the bat, this is very visually incredible. I wonder if any of this music is going to get flagged. I kind of don't care, but I'm just curious. I feel like it's going to be one of those games where it's going to be heavily music influenced. So I wanted to have the music there to, ex to experience the whole thing. just like waiting here I actually don't know if I have control at this point oh it looks like it did I just had to move something oh this is really cool so yeah I don't know which way to go we're gonna go right here you know I, it's really hard they didn't give me any controls for anything here so I'm just kind of guessing What the heck are those? But now I'm not in control anymore. Oh, now I am. Oh, 
Oh, man. This is so pretty. This really feels like I'm playing through like a movie. any other buttons like oh i do have a jump okay a is jump and it looks like i can just move and then jump what's in here anything these are one of those games that i'm gonna get the soundtrack for because it's incredible Hey, what is this? Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's for. But I like that it's following me now. if you can go up this way and back I feel like there's something here there's probably nothing oh there's definitely something I don't know how to get out there oh whoa this it looks like it's telling me to jump I don't know if I can do anything with those uh, these orbs it kind of looks like I have to have three of them it's interesting because this game doesn't really give you any sort of direction. What the heck? Nope. I like that I don't die when I fall. I thought I could jump on that thing, but apparently I could not. Oh, hey. Okay, so the, it looks like the more orbs I have, the more that it connects things. Yeah, so here I needed three. And then they just follow me again. That's really cool. Oh, the music's changing? There's a couple of different hands that are shattered. Whoa. I 
Rose got shivers. It's almost like, as we're remembering, we're bringing color back into the world. Sort of thing. I don't think I can jump up this thing. I was going to see if I could jump up that tower, but it didn't look like I could. Looks like two makes the tower fall over. They can't jump up there. Okay, so those three that I got returned to that. But now I don't have those three anymore. So it would seem like I need to get a bunch of them and bring them back. Interesting. What is this? I need seven orbs to make whatever that is. And there's five orbs to make whatever that is. This is so pretty. Yeah, the cinematography in this is awesome. go left first, I think. Oh, can't go that way. All right. I'm kind of going the way that the, the only way I feel like I can go on these. There's also moments of this game where it takes control for me, which I'm fine with because it's... Oh, that was just the intro. Okay, wow. Now I can control it again. Yeah, it's pretty seamless like when when I control it and when I don't. I'm going left here because I feel like it it generally wants me to go right. And so I feel like there could be potentially something. Yeah, like what's what's this? I don't know what I I don't know what this is, but I picked it up. It's not one of the orb things, it's something else, so Maybe they'll explain to that to us later, I guess. 
It's a very simplistic character design, but I think it's really effective for this game. In fact, most of the art is beautiful, but it's also simplistic. It's like a really good choice. Really good creative direction, I feel. Very reminiscent of what was up above in the little temple thing. Looks like a little wind area. Okay, that kicked in. That was random. And I feel like those might hurt me. No, they don't hurt me, they're just there. So that just kicks in randomly and I can't do anything to stop it. Probably gonna kick up again here. Yeah, here it is. It just always rolls me back just a little bit. There's our first little orb in this area. It's all very mysterious. Here's a little connector section. Uh, apparently I need two there. So we need to get one more of these uh, orbs and then head back probably. Here's the other one. So now if the wind blows, it'll actually work in our favor. Well, except for knocking us over. <laughs> I was gonna say, it moves us that direction, but uh, kind of knocks us over, so. Try and take, try and get up there before the wind kicks in again. Because imagine if the wind kicks in when we're on top of here, oh gosh. Oh, rip. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I actually don't know what the interval is here, uh, but it feels like it's not too terribly long. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, thankfully that bridge was still there. not causing me to fall back because I'm protected by the wind here. And we had definitely got whatever that is.
So while we were in there, we were protected. And we managed to pick up one of those other secret things, whatever that uh, happens to be. I don't know if that's needed or secret. It's not following us, so. These things. How do you even get up there? I kind of feel like you should be able to knock this out. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get this. I wonder if you come back to this area with like an ability or something. Because right now we can only jump and we can't uh, actually reach that. side before okay old X oh so we just got an ability here so now we can go back and break that thing I bet and I bet it also will protect us against the wind. That was like the only tutorial that they've ever given us, is hold X there. Oh, should probably jump. There you go. It's like a ground pound uh, from the Mario series. Yeah, that's cool. You can definitely walk through it. You can just uh, turn into a... You don't move as fast, but you can definitely still move forward. It's gonna make us do it all the time here, isn't it? Whoa, what is this place? You can totally shake those, that's cool. I feel like that's the way we're supposed to go. It's hard to tell which way we're supposed to go here. I kind of want to drop down first. Oh, probably not the way we're supposed to go. Okay, well. There's probably a secret there that I just missed. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty.
It looks kind of like I should be able to go up that person. I have no idea if you're actually moving faster by doing this, but it's satisfying. Oh. What just happened? Where did this take us? I have no idea where this took us. This is like really truly a game of like discovery because I have no idea where I am necessarily. I went from one area to another area and now I'm in the sky. And this is back to like where the red area that I was in previously. So I wonder if this just heads back to where I was. some more of these. All right, let's try and go to the left side here. so crazy. Part of me almost feels like we're going backwards, sort of, but like, this is all new stuff. So this goes back up just in case probably you fall. And there's like a uh, orb up there. It just doesn't seem like I can get to this orb. I wonder if I can tilt this maybe further. Yeah, I can. Nice. That's using your noodle. And there's a secret up there. Ride this one all the way around. Oops. Well, shoot. 
I thought that would catch me a little bit sooner than it did. Apparently it only catches you right when and you can actually stand on it. And it's not like activatable the entire time. So now we've got three of these things. I probably can drop down there if I wanted. But I think instead, yeah, I should go this way. That thing's just like... Like this world just feels alive with things. I still don't know if I'm going the right way though. But I'm making progress of some sort, so I feel like it's gotta be the right way, at least in one sense or the other. the birds again. puzzles. Interesting. I just have to activate both of them at the same time. No. I see I need four for this. Or I need five, I think. Okay. Oh, hello. You like you look like you can be exploded. Where the heck did he go? lifted that up for me so I could get that. I don't think there's any way for me to get on top of that rock, so we're going to go back this way. Okay, it looks like I need to activate that uh, windmill thing before I can get up there. So now I have four of these orbs. Oops. 
still need five in order to do that. But it looks like we probably have to go to the left side to see if there's another orb. There's the birds again. Okay, there's an orb there. But I'm not quite sure how to get to it. Can't jump up there. I can loosen this somehow. Ah. Is it going to continue? Oh, I was going to say, is it going to continuously rise up? I just have to do that, okay. And I bet if I lower this all the way down and then race it up, Not been enough. Aha! So I can race this up here. Aha! Ha, ha, I found a secret. Then I can ride this down. I figured that went to something. All right, so now we have all five orbs in this section. Uh, at least the five orbs that I saw for the middle thing, so we should be able to activate that. Nice. probably takes us to activate one of whatever these windmill things are. Yeah, it's got to be activated here. Interesting. It's almost like I need to like hit it from a higher point of view or something. There's no there's no way over there. I can hop up here though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're going to do this. So I think I can traverse this way. Yeah. Almost. I had the right idea, I think. I think I just needed to go up one higher. This is a really, like, use your head kind of creative uh, game. up here on the outside no can I jump here yes I can there you go perfect
What did that what did that do? Oh, it rose us up. I didn't know it was gonna move the whole thing. That's cool. The timing on those are very satisfying. Ooh, we found some hands. Oh, wow. We got more color into the world. Yeah, now it's interesting that we hit a moment that was all black and white, and now we have red and greens and blues. It's really just building onto the world, which is really cool. All right, which way? Where are we? Back to the same area that we're in. It's like building a path. So is this this is supposedly this is supposedly the same temple we were in before. But now it's all completely different. It's got green and stuff in it too. And I honestly don't know what those symbols all, all are. Those birds are coming to kill me now. I feel like those birds are evil or something. Like they were from the 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 really dark place at the bottom. Did I jump? Wow, this just gave me shivers. This is a really pretty place. Those are cute. This is really, I'm gonna say this again, but this just is an experience type of game. If you guys like these types of games, you should definitely play this. And then come back and watch me. <laughs> oh no, he's sad. Or scared.
Is that him hiding? Or is that somebody else? Oh no, he's right there in the foreground. It's almost like he's cautiously following me. That's really good use of foreground. That was really satisfying. It's like they gave you enough, just enough time to solve that puzzle, or to, to do the puzzle. That blocks just disappeared right after you. So I bet if I start right here, yeah. It gave me just enough time to get up there. And I'll probably go up further too, but I want to see what's over here. Well, it's like an apple. I should have gone up further. He's following me. He's definitely just following me. I don't know what the purpose of me going up there was. What's the purpose of me going up there? There's obviously some reason why I can go up here. an apple down for him. And I can knock this apple down too. That was very subtle. They very subtly shook that tree when you go over it. Otherwise it's not super intuitive. We can knock down all these trees for him. You gonna show me the way out? Yeah. little buddy. Yes. He's helping me out now. Oh, he needs ground pounds too.
So he follows me whenever I ground pound. I don't know what the point of that was, but it was pretty satisfying. How did he get up there? So yeah, he'll follow whatever I do. So if I ground pound on the ground, he'll do it from wherever he was. Apple. I must be able to jump up this way. Yeah, I can. Okay. Ah. Well, there goes my buddy. Come on, buddy, keep up. Oh, he's rolling. He's rolling down the hill. You okay, buddy? There's another one of those gates he can open. Or we just brought him home. Doesn't look like we can go down here. Well, that was a short-lived friendship, but it was welcomed. Looks like this is a new ability, so we're going to have to get uh, two orbs for that one. that they're off in these two different directions. Interesting. Those seem to change every single time I jump. I'm not sure I would inherently have figured that out. That's really satisfying, though. There's one. Oh, shoot. Oh no! Okay. I misjudged that jump there. Probably need to approach it from the other side here. There you go. But this one... Okay, so we solved that. It's the first one down. I 
That's a pretty cool puzzle. I liked that one. That's the way that I just went. But I also came from this direction, I think. Yeah, this is the way that I, I went under. So that goes to that way, okay. So it's most likely something in the other direction. There's that orb. I hear an orb. That little jingle sound for an orb. It's my friend. There's my second orb. Thanks, buddy. There might have been more secrets around there because I feel like it was it was doing that jingle sound a bit too much, but I didn't see anything that immediately jumped out at me and I know I have I have two so that's probably all I need oh it gives me a jump and a hover Holding a oh, so it, it looks like it just gave me a hover, like it's like an extra little jump and a hover. Wow, that's actually uh, quite a big, big uh, of difference. So it's kind of almost like a double jump. But the second jump, you hold A, and then you do a hover for it. That's kind of huge. It's obviously not going to save you, uh, for, oh, shoot. But yeah, you can do crazy hovers like that now. And the little birds are what, oh my gosh, the little birds jump me up now. Gosh, this just is so pretty. So now there's some like crazy verticality to this now. Yep. And now you can do stuff like that.
Wow. That's pretty, like, ingenious just to add a little something like that. Because now I can do stuff like jumps, I can do hovers, I can do fast falls. I can just kind of slow my fall just for a little bit. Huh. Wow. This is really crazy. See, now the birds are kind of like my friend. It's just... This game is just, <laughs> I almost can't talk how visually impressive everything is. It's a really like an art, art game. Oh, uh, now these birds don't seem friendly. These are like the blackbirds. Oh, maybe they are friendly or not. That does not look friendly. the heck? Oh, definitely not friendly. This is like a boss fight. Sir. Oh, no. I couldn't recover. I tried to use the block to recover. I probably should have hovered to that one. Oops. Come jumping. Oh boy. Oh, I should have timed that to ride it over. Nailed it. Thanks, bird. Even the boss fight doesn't really feel like a boss fight, it's just, it feels incredible. Oh, I probably should have uh, rode that before I started rolling. I misjudged the amount of time that I had. Oh, and I misjudged that time as well.
Yeah, that bird is not friendly. Seems like he didn't like the bells. There's moments of just like peace in this game too. We still have two crystals that were, uh, two little orbs that are following us. get up there. Ah, there you go. I think I'm going to have to force him to push me back. Forceful push and ring the bell, I bet. Yep. I, uh, I kind of failed that jump there, so I tried to recover. There's the two orbs that I had from before. We're just going higher and higher here. It kind of feels like I'm moving a little bit faster whenever I jump, but I don't actually know. Oh, there's another hand. And I feel like the hands are giving us more color into the world. Now it's raining. We kind of go up and then down a lot in this game.
Ooh, now they introduced water. Oh, man. Wow, this is interesting. This is almost like playing through a symphony. Well, I failed that. Oh, there's a secret over here, though. So that's not all bad, I guess. This actually might be the way to go. But I feel like I could have gone a different path had I made that jump successfully. But now I'm curious, so this is either going to be a different path or a dead end. And if this is a different path, that means that there are multiple paths you can take in this game. Because I, I feel like the other way was... Yeah, it almost seems like there's multiple paths you can take. This is cool. Yeah, there's... I feel like that other thing was an, an alternate path if I'd have made that entire way. I have to... I feel like I'm gonna have to replay this to see. Oh, this is back at the orb. Like the little altar thing. So far I can't reach that. So maybe I do head back the other way and see if I can go up that path. Got one of whatever that is. Now it doesn't look like there's a way I can go back this way without swimming the entire way. I'm gonna go right and see what what I can go, what I can do. I feel like last time I went left, and this time going right might be the correct way. If it even lets me go that way. I could probably go down this way. Can't go that way.
You can't actually swim down in this game either, so... Maybe there is only a couple of ways you can go. This seems new. Yeah, this is definitely new. This is a very uh, mysterious but beautiful area. I was trying to see if I can go in that way anywhere. Interesting, though, everything's upside down because the water is up at the top. And now the water's back at the bottom. I can do a dive from here in block form. Yep. That's really cool. This is like my favorite time of platformer games where they give you a couple of mechanics and then it's just all clever level design after that point. Like the mechanics don't really change or they introduce like one mechanic at a time. And they the mechanics build upon each other. It's just very satisfying to me. How do you get up here though? I wonder if I can swim up here. Doesn't you can't swim up that waterfall, but Okay. need to go up this way. I have no idea if that was the way to go down, but now we're in some crystal stuff. You have to have a lot of... I was going to try and dive down there, but you have to have a lot of uh, distance in order to make a dive. That was barely enough to make make over that. All right, so now we need two of these again.
What? Oh my gosh, that's cool. So I wonder if I can time this. here. Oh, almost. Ah, that's how you do it. That was the first one. I don't know how, how I figured that out. But it's actually kind of, that's kind of ingenious. Let's think about this one here for a sec. Nailed it. Oh no! Well, I almost nailed it. So, we need, I do need to have that half open. Did that not save that? Okay, I just had to be smarter than, than the average bear there. I wonder if that's gonna give me that ability now, the crystal uh, of making blocks for myself. It's gonna give me something that's built on that.
Oh, Dig just gives me the ability to swim. Okay. And that's cool. You almost have to pulse this. You can't just like hold it down. Or, and you can't spam A either. You just kind of have to pulse. Looks like we need four more of those. All right, so there's one. Can't get through there though. So this one we can't actually get, we have to go down through here and we can't get through here yet. This area will not let us get through. So unless I'm missing something, we can't access that area yet. I could just be missing something, but I feel like we can't get through the center part, so we can't access that. Let's head up through other areas that we might have better luck getting. And I feel like that one will potentially like loop around. Interesting. So I wonder if this is made to be like a reflection. Get that from the top. Yeah, we can't actually jump up that high. This has like a lot of different areas that you can see, but you can't reach. Okay, let's chase this one. Do I have to really race this? Yeah, I feel like it wants me to race it. Got it.
Okay, that's where we came in at. And that goes somewhere. Again, they're combining a bunch of different things, which is really cool. That's just playing off of each other. So here we're probably going to have to like race this again. Oh, no, we're going to have to jump up this way. That was cool. through the section. Nice. Okay, so we got four of these things. This one over here I couldn't figure out. There was actually two I couldn't figure out. This le this goes somewhere. I feel like in order to access this one, uh, I need to go through this red tree. I can't actually go through the center of it because I can't actually get into here. And I can't get enough momentum in order to crush through that. I need to go up and around, I think, for that one somehow. And then slam down. So that one we'll have to explore because I don't I don't actually know how to get to that. Hey, okay, can't go down there. It's a little too dark. This is the one that we were also stuck on. So we need to be able to use the mechanics that we have. Um, this we can go underwater. It's an exact mirror. We can go up and around this way. Nice. This is a one-way thing. Oh, we got some birds. I bet these birds can help us launch up on the thing. On this side. It was not that we couldn't make the thing, it's just we didn't have the tools. Did I lose the birds? That's my bad. I actually didn't know when those birds were going to activate. So I guess we'll go grab them again.
This should already be unlocked though, so we shouldn't have to go the long way around. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like the birds are going to activate as soon as we go out of the water. Uh, and then we can potentially launch ourselves up on the top. That's my thought process, at least. How is that? I wonder if I have to crack that. All right, bear with me, everybody. I, f I think I figured this out. I think I've been doing pretty okay in this game, being intuitive. Like, I feel like I've figured out the puzzles fairly quickly, so I'm allowed to struggle on a couple of them. I don't think that we have enough to um, to reach that on the top. So I think maybe we have to slam through the thing on the bottom. Yeah. So the as soon as we, the birds come out, it only gives us one option to use them uh, like right away. So we can launch out using the swim and then we can use the birds to launch up um, but then I think after that we have to use the ground pound to get down ground pound to get down I think these well they're not really birds they're more like I guess they kind of like the birds Let's see if we can intuitively do this one. No. Oh. I thought for sure. Apparently you just have to, you do have to make that jump. I kind of wish that the birds would just um, go into place. Or that they would stay there once you got them. That was probably the hardest technically technical part of the of the game so far. Was trying to do this one. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Which is entirely possible. Uh yep. Yeah. So that one, I uh, I didn't double hit A to do the float. I just kind of like jumped out of it and held A. And so I didn't actually do a jump into the air. But we figured out that we don't ground pound there. We just actually have to make it up top, which is crazy to me. It's gonna be a, a pretty big leap of faith to actually make it to that section. Unless there is multiple birds that we need. But again, I don't know. I could be just making it harder on myself. Damn. I do need to make it up. I need to aim for like right here and then shoot up. I feel like that's the only section uh, that I'm having difficulty on though, so. Worst comes to worst, we'll we'll tr we'll look up if I'm missing something, 
but I don't think that I am. I think I'm just missing my technical ability to do this. Nope, I can't actually make that. There's no way to make that. Well, shoot. Let's do a quick look up here. Bear with, guys. While we head back to this area. Trying something else here, actually. Because I remembered I could go to this section. Okay. So you can use it in multiple sections, and it's cool that we got that. But like, that's not where I needed to go. I need to get still. Hmm. Still missing that. See if there's any other place that I could use those birds. Nope, that just takes me all the way around. have to come back and f and try this water level on the next stream I might have to just like f try and think about how to solve this one because the only thing I can think of is to use these to launch myself up this way Yeah, I have to think about this. Ooh. Okay. Well, we're going to try and figure this out, guys, on the next stream. Um, I'll do some thinking uh, on how to do this, and then we'll pick it up from uh, right here after on the next stream. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with Gris. Um, I did, uh, definitely. Um, and then we'll pick this up. I think this game is fairly short. Um probably two streams worth or uh, two episodes worth on YouTube. So this will be the first one and then we'll have probably one more to finish it up, provided I can figure out this water level because I don't want to spend too much time on, on trying to think about it. Um, I'll mess with it and see if I can figure it out. But, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll try and continue it. I'm really loving this game so far. It, it feels more like an experience than a game, um, though there is some challenging aspects or some puzzles that uh, kind of take a little bit to think of. So. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys had a great time. Hope you guys have a great week. Uh, until next time, later.